Well, hello there. Welcome to the getting started video for Ultimate Brain. This is gonna be a very quick video showing you exactly how to get started with the template and set it up so you can start using it on a day-to-day -day basis. And I wanna start this video out by saying, once again, thank you so much for your support. Thank you so much for buying this template. I really hope you find it useful. I really hope it's a great organizational tool uh, for your entire life, basically. And after this video, you're gonna find a ton of educational resources going through every single part of the template. Pretty much any question you have has been answered and if you have another question that we haven't answered, we have a whole support community exactly for that. But how do you actually get started using Ultimate Brain? Well, let's dig into that, starting with how to actually duplicate the template. I'm guessing if you're watching this video, you've already duplicated the template, but just to cover this and to cover all my bases, you're gonna find this duplicate button in the top right corner of the public Ultimate Brain template, which you can get to from our Circle community. And you just click this button and it's gonna add an exact copy of the template to your workspace as a private page. And from then it is now in your workspace and you can do anything you want with it. So I'm gonna switch over to a brand new copy that I've added to a tutorial workspace, and we are gonna start with a little bit of setup. Uh, really, the only things that you need to do to set up this template before you can start using it on a day-to-day -day basis is to add some areas and resources which sort of segment your life into different little identity-based buckets or topics of interest, and maybe add some projects as well. So I'm gonna go ahead and do that by clicking on areas and resources from our productivity views section and I'm gonna add one for, let's just say, uh, College Info Geek. So this is my business. And I'm gonna generate this from the area template. Now, uh, if you aren't unfamiliar with the area and resource terminology, this comes from Tiago Forte's Building a Second Brain course, but don't worry, you don't have to have taken that course to understand uh, the differences because they're pretty simple. Areas are essentially the overarching buckets of your life. So maybe your business, your health, uh, music, if you're a musician, that kind of thing. They have projects and they also have resources which are essentially topical buckets for notes and web clips and things like that. And then resources, like I just said, are a bit more niche and they're a little bit less actionable. They are a place to add notes, to add web highlights, uh, web clips, resources, basically they're folders to save things that are around a common topic. And as you can see here, areas can contain resources, but Ultimate Brain is all about flexibility. So you can have resources that are not inside of an area. They can just be right here in the resources section. And you can also have projects that are not inside of an area. There's a whole project hub where you can add projects without areas or with them. So going back to my areas and resources, I might add another one maybe for my health where I can have uh, health related projects, maybe uh, fitness projects. I can have fitness resources. And here I'm actually going to add some extra stuff First, I'll add an icon. Let's just make this, uh, how about a flexing arm? I might add a cover as well, and I'll just let it be the default cover, but you could change it. You could upload your own, or you could find something health related with Unsplash. And then you can go ahead and start customizing this to essentially create a full dashboard for this area of your life. So you could make a project, like say, build a garage gym, and you're gonna notice that with projects, areas, resources, there are templates inside of these databases which will give you a head start and it'll basically give you this whole dashboard for capturing tasks, capturing notes, and even pulling in resources and other notes from around your workspace. There's a whole tutorial on that feature. It's a bit more advanced, so check it out if you're curious. I'm gonna go back with control bracket, nice little uh, shortcut to know, be command bracket on a Mac, and I'll add a resource. Let's just call this one fitness. I'll generate this from the resource template and uh, you'll also notice that we are in the same database for areas and for resources. They are in the exact same database and they are differentiated by their type. This is a resource, but it could be an area. Resources, as generated from this template, have an area for notes, an area for favorites, and an area for web clips. So if you wanna use something with the Notion Web Clipper or uh, the Save to Notion extension, you can get those web clips right here. If I add a note, such as, um, let's just do muscle tension notes, if I'm taking like a class or something, I could favorite this if I wanted to, and I would see it here in my favorites. I would also see it, if I go to my root area of this resource, in my area favorites as well. And I can see all of my area notes, including notes within the resources contained in this area. And they're grouped by those resources. So that is how you can start building out areas and resources within Ultimate Brain. The next thing you might wanna do is actually add some projects. So if you go over to the project hub, 
uh, we can add projects that don't have an area or we can click this little plus button right here and we can add an area to this board. And from here, I can actually add a project. Now note that this projects by status board is grouped by the project statuses. So this would be projects marked to do. This would be projects in the doing category. And we already have one, build a garage gym, or I guess build a garage. Uh, we have ongoing projects. Now these can be very, very useful. So I'm actually gonna show you how I might add one here. For health, I might add a project called ongoing health tasks. And this would be a project that never really ends, which is why it's in the ongoing section. And it could be a place where I essentially dump tasks that have to do with this area of my life, health. So I could add, say, uh, get a quarterly checkup. And I could even make this a recurring task. Maybe I wanna do this quarterly, so I'm gonna add three as my recur interval, and I'm gonna set my recur interval to months. And then I'll add a due date. Let's just say the end of the month is a good time to do it now. And the next checkup date is gonna be August 31st based on our recur criteria, just like that. We could also add notes to this project if we wanted to. Uh, and there are whole tutorials on how to manage projects, how to manage areas, all that good stuff. So once you have some projects, once you have some areas and resources, Ultimate Brain is now ready for you to start using. And you may wanna start out with the Quick Capture page. This is a great place to add notes and also add tasks. Uh, and it's a place where their notes and your tasks are only going to stay for 24 hours. It's a Quick Capture page. It is meant to stay nice and clean and just be a place to dump stuff. We also have actual inboxes. So there is the task inbox here, and here we can add any tasks that don't currently have a project, and then we could assign them projects from the inbox if we wanted to. We also have the note inbox where we can dump any kind of notes that we want, and then later on, maybe add them to an area or a resource or even a project. Or if you have the Ultimate Brain and Creators Companion Bundle template for content creators, you'll also have a content relation here. So you can add notes as resources or research items to maybe videos or blog posts that you're working on, that kind of thing. You also have all these dashboards. So there is a overarching dashboard that gives you access to pretty much everything, tasks, notes, uh, projects that you have marked high priority, quick links, and then you have things like my day for planning your day. You can see all of your upcoming tasks here and you can uh, basically use this section as a virtual whiteboard. You can see all of your tasks in the task manager area, all of your notes in the notes area, etc. So that is a very quick guide on how to get started with Ultimate Brain. And what I would uh, encourage you to do and think about at this point in learning the template is just use it for what is interesting to you now and don't worry about understanding deeply all of these different sections because uh, not just with Ultimate Brain, but anything, the process of learning something is an organic process. It takes time and it is ultimately driven by interest and interest is driven by a mission, right? So if you have something you wanna do right now, like take notes on a certain subject or finish a project with some tasks, start using those sections and in using them, you're gonna become more and more adept and comfortable with them. And from there, you can start to explore other parts of the template as your interest moves and expands. And once you are ready to start learning more, you can of course experiment at your uh, leisure, but you can also check out the Ultimate Brain Beginners tutorial. Like I said before, you probably are already on it, but I just wanted to show you how to get to it from the Ultimate Brain homepage, uh, your copy of the templates homepage anyway. And there are all all kinds of guides with videos. I think as of this recording, there are over five hours of video tutorials. There are also written guides for every part of the template. And this tutorial is also even interactive. There are pieces of the Ultimate Brain demo that you will find within these articles. So whatever you're curious about, you'll be able to get more information about it in all of these articles. And then if you wanna take things even further, there are these special features pages and these modifying Ultimate Brain uh, pages and these will probably expand uh, as time goes on and we add more guides. But uh, just to show you an example, we have this guide here on integrating new databases into Ultimate Brain. So if you had something of your own, like uh, a contacts database or a home inventory database, this would actually show you how you could integrate that into Ultimate Brain and learn a bunch of cool Notion design tricks in the process. So hopefully this has given you a bit of insight on how to actually set this template up and start using it. From here, I would go to the Getting Started with Ultimate Brain page. You may already to be on it and I would move over to the uh, full ultimate brain overview this just gives you a bird's eye view at every part of the template and then we also have a day-to-day -day use guide so this will get more into the nitty-gritty on how to use those inboxes how to add uh, tasks to projects how to use the my day view 
all that good stuff. So these two videos are definitely good overviews. If you wanna brush up on your Notion skills, if you're new to Notion and you're uh, wondering how you can actually learn this app in general, I have this entire playlist here. This is called Notion Fundamentals and there are currently, I think, eight videos within this playlist. And there's also even a webpage uh, called thomasjfrank.com slash fundamentals. And this has all of those lessons linked as well, along with written guides. So if you wanted to say, uh, learn how to link pages inside of Notion, we've got this whole written guide, the video's right there, and then there's all kinds of stuff that you can use as a reference. So check out those resources. And to round things out, I'm gonna call two additional support resources we have. The first one is our public help docs database. You can find that over at support.thomasjfrank.com. And that is where you're gonna find detailed articles on common questions. These are less tutorials about how to start using the template and more just common questions you might have if you're trying to make changes, like how to rename pages or properties or how to show or hide database titles, how to unlock databases. We have lots of detailed articles that have screenshots and arrows and all kinds of details. So if you have a question, you very well might find a support article there. And we also have an actual support community. You can find that over at community.thomasjfrank.com. And uh, you're going to have access to specific spaces in the community based on what you've bought. So if you've bought Ultimate Brain, you'll have that. If you bought Creator's Companion, you'll have the Creator's Companion space. And you can actually get a support from either me or somebody on my support team if you have questions that are not covered in our help docs. And when you have questions, we actually turn our answers into additional help docs. So your questions actually help us make our docs even better. So that is all I have to say. Check out those additional videos, start exploring, start uh, building out your second brain in Ultimate Brain. And once again, thank you so much for your support.